I love him to death, but he needs to listen to me. Bitch. Go away. We're part of the moonlight. Ain't a fan to say. Can't be in Part 2 Azure Moon. Pegasus Moon. Valley of Torment. I wonder what other people chose, if they went to fight ahead or what. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the kingdom must now supplement its meager forces. And so it requests reinforcements from Rodrigue, oh, who is busy resisting Cornelia's army in Fraldarius territory. Hi, you Dimitri. Made it. Yes, I did. Hi. You received a reply from my father. You should read it too. Oh, what is Gilbert it? has filled me in on the details. He tells me you are in immediate need of additional troops. Mm -hmm. I would like to say that I will gather reinforcements and send them to the monastery at once. But however, I cannot afford to leave the front lines for that long. It's okay. Would you be willing to meet us south of Fraldarius territory in ALL, the Valley of Torment? We will. ALL is halfway between the monastery and our territory. There, I will deliver the soldiers you require. Do you need help? We can help for you. Valley of Torment? ALL lies on the border between Kingdom Territory and Alliance Territory. Humans dare not approach that place. Oh, well, I guess He's we're right. not humans. In ALL, we can meet up with them without our enemy ever finding out. Once my old man delivers his soldiers to us, then our war against the Empire can finally begin. The path ahead will be a difficult one, Your Highness. Deadly, in all likelihood. True. But what's the point in wavering now? Father, stepmother, Glenn, and even to do. He's not dead. I am certain this will bring them great joy. I don't think he's I know dead. if I can just offer them Edelgard's head. I just know it. Dimitri, that's not gonna solve anything. Hey, Lala, the Valley of Torment. You eavesdropping? I swear some of these soldiers and people be eavesdropping. Oh. I don't know about everyone else. But heading to the Empire seems like a good idea to me. The search for Lady Rhea will be so much easier if we can just get the Empire out of the I know, way. but we need recruits. I suppose Dimitri might still pose a problem, though. He seems so fixated on the Imperial capital, but... I get the feeling he's not even sure what he wants anymore. He just needs love. That's all. By the, way, the Kingdom capital or the Imperial capital? I don't know which is the right way. If we tried to take on the Empire like this, would we really stand a chance? No. With House Fraldarius under attack, they probably can't spare many soldiers. On the other hand, if we did manage to take the Imperial capital, the war would be over. Hmm. I'm no good at thinking through this kind of complicated stuff. We're gonna get recruits, and then we're gonna go see Edelgard. If we can take most of even His Highness understands that. I'm sure of it. Yet, he wants to take- If we can take back the kingdom, we'll recover our soldiers. And some food and supplies too, I bet. Sorry, I skipped it thinking, like, this is important. <laughs> Most importantly of all, there are people in the kingdom waiting for our help. Even His Highness understands that. I'm sure of it. Yet, he wants to take on the Empire despite all that. Because he's blood hungry right now. Do you think he just- doesn't care about anything other than fighting Edelgard anymore? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's doing right now. You may be right. That's not true. You may be right. He wasn't always like this. What happened? Bloodshed. Too much bloodshed. He's not down for it. AOL, the Valley of Torment. Oh man. I really do not want to go there. Oh. Why not? That place is crazy hot. <laughs> For guys like me, who grew up somewhere cold, man, it's gonna be rough. It's so, okay. I guess that climate will keep our enemies at bay. Exactly, and us, to be honest. Sir. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Is everyone setting out on a big campaign? Not exactly. Ah, so you're meeting up with the reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Well, you can leave guarding this place to me. I'll keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Thank you. I concur. Hi, love. Meeting reinforcements in the Valley of Torment seems an astute decision to me. In that land of oppressive heat, it is unlikely that we will be disturbed. It also means we will need to contend with those harsh conditions ourselves, however. 
Best ensure we are well prepared. And hydrated. These past five years, Lord Rodrigue worried for his highness more than any other. But I wonder what he would say if he saw what has become of Dimitri. I think he would regret not being there. It has been only five years, yet so much has changed. Half of the kingdom has fallen to the Empire. Skirmishes are rife throughout the Alliance. Despite such tumult, we look upon the same sky, unchanged by the storm happening beneath it. Do you wish you could return through those days? It's true, it's just like it was all those years ago. Indeed. I gazed up at the same sky with mother and father. It does not feel so long ago at all. Wait, but how would you know, Professor? We don't know. <laughs> I am stealing myself to see my father again. I can't stand that old man. Hey, calm down. He's alive. But he's your father. That's just biological circumstance. We may have the same blood, but we've nothing else in common. It is imperative that we regroup with those who continue to resist. Most importantly, we must join up with the Fraldarius family. If we do, our ability to reclaim the kingdom capital is ensured. We should aim for this outcome, rather than focusing our efforts on the imperial capital. This seems to me the best strategy at present. But I feel what His Highness feels. His hatred, his anger, so keenly, as if it were my own. So I find it difficult to oppose his wishes. Nope. I love him to death, but he needs to listen to me. Bitch. Go away. No. No, I would not. Step it. Go away. No. Go away. No, no, no. Go away. You're gonna. Go away. I wish you would say something different. <laughs> Birthday. Felix's birthday! We're gonna host him a tea party! Then I'm probably gonna end the episode. Um, what would you like? Would you like a crescent moon tea? Fermented dried seeds blend with tea leaves. It has a soft and subtle flavor, akin to the gentle light of the moon. Here I am. Yes, here you are. Last time he would be like, why am I here, right? So now he's like, here I am. You're so- oh, thank you. I look at the upgraded freaking sweets. We're inside, though. Kind of missed oh, the outside world a little bit, you know? good. Oh, it's more intimate inside, though. No one else can see us. Yes. Fuck. Plans for the future? Impressive. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What? You're doing great work. I see. Uh-huh. <sighs> what? Reliable allies? I see. <gasps> Here it is, the moment of truth. Well, I appreciate all that you do for me. <gasps> oh, for real? Can this just be perfect right now? Don't make me choose. Bless you. Yes. Oh! oh, shit. Perfect tea time with Felix again. I think we had a perfect with him last time for the first time, too. Professor. Impressive. Uh. Can you look at me a little bit? Yes. Join me for training later. I want to try something. Oh, uh, okay. Is he like looking at us a little bit though? <sighs> Hot. He's not looking away from us? Oh, improvement. I'm so proud yes. of you. Aww. Impressive. Oh, Impressive. my God. <sighs> Hot. Oh, you're so cute. Impressive. Fuck. You might steal my heart away. I can't. Mm -mm. You can't be serious. Uh-uh, I know, I know. Really? Yes. Look at me! <laughs> Professor! Huh? He's so cute. What? Join me for training later. I want to try something. Is this all you can say to me? Nothing else? Mm. <sighs> I dislike making eye contact when I'm talking. Even when I'm talking to you. Oh, but you're doing great. You used to look at me. <laughs> oh, impressive. Happy birthday. Thanks for your hospitality. Mm. I hope you'll invite me again sometime. Of course. Happy birthday. He's so cute. He's so cute. Much cuter than Dimitri right now. Because Dimitri, I need a. Some sense into him right now. Alright, what did everybody do? A seminar? I said I was gonna end it here, but let's just do our seminar real quick. Oh, Ash is a teacher! It's so cute! 
Hey, I didn't want to sell you, Gilbert. Get out of here. <laughs> Still a long way to go. Very well, then. Damn it. Trying to get, I'm still trying to get um, that one class, so I'm trying to train my butt off. Oh shit, it's story mode time. I want to play story mode time. Oh, I can finally do it? Where? Where? Oh shit, I need to buy the thingy. Assassin time, bitches. <laughs> what do you mean? What are, sh what are those shoes? Let's watch the story mode, okay? We're gonna watch it. And then I have to end it, okay? <laughs> Having received the Kingdom Army's plea for aid, Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. You can kind of see them. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army oh God, sets out for LL, the Valley of Torment. Ambush at LL? Well, that doesn't sound good. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. And all that heavy Historically, armor. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. Is some water? In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? It's hot as shit. I never imagined it would be like this. I'm at my limit. Uh, I'm at my limit. <laughs> Don't overexert yourself. Perhaps it would be best to take breaks as we proceed. They say Alel was born of the goddess's rage. Damn. I hadn't heard of her rage? If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment. Passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. And there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Dimitri, you okay? Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. We had to walk back through there. this shit too. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rieg soldiers? No, but their banner is that. Is it the Empire? No, it can't be. It's Empire, isn't that it? That is House Rose Banner. Wait, wait, what's House they there? They carried favor with that witch and sold out Fargus. Oh, so we messed up on the Empire side. There must have been a spy among us. Yeah, stupid ass shit. Will Nick you have Knight us meet them soldier. in battle, or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. So either way, we gotta fight, uh, fight them. Let's set up the kingdom, right? I will not repeat myself. Dimitri, that chill out. Banner belongs to the I'm still your line. professor. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. What does he look like? Everyone, prepare for the attack. Well, shit, I would love to, but I have to end up so. Because, like, Tyler comes home in 10 minutes. God damn it. <laughs> so, so, this is where we're going to end today's episode off. I'm most likely going to play tomorrow because I'm off from work. No idea how many chapters are in this game. No idea when Demetrio will come around. If he'll ever come around. Or maybe, like, last chapter he comes around and it's just like, sorry. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.